Welcome to Sitom Automatic Ballistic Calculator Tutorial. The first step, click the menu and we'll get into this menu. Find the Automatic Ballistic Calculator setting. And click the menu button. Now we're gonna put in the ballistics data. The first column is a BC type. New ballistic data needs to be adjusted for different bullets and equipment. Five sets of data can be stored here at the same time. The names are B, C, D, E. Press the record button to set the next set of parameters. The second column is bullet weight. The unit is GR. GR is the internationally accepted grain standard. One gram equals 15.43 grains. For example, your warhead weighs two grams. Then it is the time 15.432. Round off after the decimal point. Then fill it in. Below is the BC value. The BC value is determined based on the shape and weight of your projectile. A technical term is called wind resistance coefficient. If it is a regular bullet, the BC specific value will be found on the bullet box. The most common ones are these data. Just choose according to actual situation. The next one is the muzzle velocity. This needs to be measured with a speedometer. It is best to measure three times. Add up the three values and divide by three. Fill in the average muzzle velocity. Then the baseline height. Generally it's 70 to 90. It is best to measure this with a tape measure. How to measure? After installing the scope, the vertical distance from the center line of the scope and barrel. Please note that it must be a vertical distance. Then is the zero range. This is very important. The zero range must be equal to the actual target distance. Second, zero radical calibration distance. The distance should be consistent. For example, your actual distance is 50 meters. Then zero range should fill in 50 meters. Similarly, automatic ballistics also need to fill in 50 meters. There can be no error in this. Altitude, temperature below. It is not recommended to fill in within 300 meters. This has little impact. Unless you're in a competition, Fill in the altitude temperature to make the trajectory more accurate. Next is the reticle color. Red, yellow, green. Choose according to your preference. So the profile is set up. Press the record button. Switch to OK. Click the menu button to save successfully. How to use it after saving successfully? It will automatically return to this page. Automatic ballistic calculator marking. Click the menu button. Then select open. After pressing to confirm opening, press and hold the menu button. Then we'll exit this page. Now the automatic ballistic calculator is set. So in the process of ranging, it will automatically display a ballistics calculator. The above is how to set up automatic ballistics calculator. Let's try it.